Walt Disney focused on storytelling while his brother Roy ran the business. And the magic happened in the storytelling. 21-year-old Walt Disney signed a contract with M.J. Winkler to direct the Alice Comedies, a series of cartoons featuring a live-action girl. Margaret J. Winkler, who signed letters as M.J. Winkler to disguise her gender, produced and edited the films. She was also a helpful mentor to Walt himself. But interestingly, Walt was not CEO of the new company. Walt and Roy co-founded the company, and they worked together in the early years. The formula for success was simple. Walt was the creative mastermind, while Roy ran the business side of things. In fact, it was at Roy's recommendation that the company name was changed from Disney Brothers Cartoon Studio to Walt Disney Studio because Roy recognized the greater value that Walt brought to the company. Roy was named CEO, but the two of them worked together for decades and they made a great team. Walt passed away in 1966 and Roy stayed on for a few more years, focusing his efforts on finishing Walt Disney World in Florida to honor his brother. He died just two months after the project was done. Walt and Roy recognized their individual strengths in running the company. Walt created the stories and Roy took care of the other stuff. There's a great lesson here for running any company. Each person, each member of a team, needs to focus on what they do best. Some people are great at leadership, sales, operations, details, or other things. If you split the work inside a company so that each person can focus on what they do best, overall output can improve. Your role as leader of a company should be to create value. Get an accountant, find a lawyer, hire a great salesman, definitely get a janitor. You need to be the leader. It's your company, it's your vision. Get other people to do the necessary tasks so that you can build the future of your company and make your vision and the value of your company come to life.